to withdraw or claim your Haven One token, this is how you connect your wallet address. Now note, the wallet address you are connecting must be the same address you used in the testnet. For those of you that did the testnet, if you've checked my previous videos on how to do that testnet, and if you've not done so, check the top of your screen. I'll pin a video there so you can go and complete your testnet. Now you are going to be linking the wallet address, the same address in which you used to complete your testnet to this Haven network. Once you have that your wallet, all you simply have to do is open up your Satoshi app. You come to this me section and then you are going to see this is your asset summary dashboard. You click on this see all so you can view your tokens. On this page, all you simply have to do is scroll up and look for your Haven token. You can see this is mine here. So I'll click on that arrow button and you should be given this button, this link wallet address. So I'll go ahead and click on it to link my address. Don't do the mistake of linking your trust wallet or your Bybit. The only acceptable wallet here is your MetaMask, which is an EVM wallet. And probably you should have used it for your testnet already. So you go ahead and link. As for me, I use my MetaMask. So I'll head into my MetaMask and copy my address. And make sure you have this your asset password. You can see you need your asset password before you can connect your wallet. If you don't have an asset password, go to your settings and set it. This your asset password is different from your login password. If you've forgotten your asset password, you have to reset it in the settings. And after resetting, you have to wait after 24 hours before you'll be allowed to connect again. So now let me go and copy my address and show you how to do the connection. Now on my MetaMask, you can see that Haven One Testnet token is displaying. And I was able to achieve this because I completed the testnet. So all you simply have to do is complete the testnet if you want your screen to be like this. But then it is not actually necessary. It is not really necessary. All you have to do is copy your address. And because you are using MetaMask, it doesn't matter which address at all you copied because all the addresses here are the same. Why? Because MetaMask is an EVM compatible wallet. So for instance, if I open up this my H1 token now, I'm going to show you something. So I'll scroll up and then click on this receive button. You can see, look at my address. It's starting with OXAC90. Let me copy it to my clipboard first. Now, if I go back from this page, now you can see the general address displaying here is also the same thing with what I just copied. Let me do something tricky. Let's say I want to receive Ethereum on this my wallet now. I'm going to switch to Ethereum mainnet. So once I switch, you can see on this Ethereum page, it is still the same wallet that is displaying. But here is the part that it gets trickier. If I just click on this my Ethereum to open it up, scroll up and then click on this receive button. You can see the address is still same thing. So just like I said, it doesn't matter which address you copied at all. This is for those of you that will come and ask me questions like which network are we using, which address, whatever. Just use your MetaMask since it is what you use to do your testnet. And like I've said before, you can't connect your trust wallet or buy bit. If you do so, you will lose your tokens. I'm saying this because I got a lot of complaints in this um, CTO that just got um, launched that we just did the connection. A lot of people connected their buy bit and some others connected trust wallet. So that's why I'm saying this. Only MetaMask and EVM wallet is compatible. So once I copy it, I come to this page now and paste it. Then I'll go ahead and put in my asset password. So you click on link wallet, confirm, and then they'll send you an OTP to your email. So you go into your email, copy the code and come paste it in here. So this is my own code, the one below. I'll go ahead and copy it. Or otherwise, you can also put this code in your head and then go into the app and type it directly. But for a simpler method, I'm going to copy it. And then all I simply have to do is go in here, paste in the code and then confirm. If you did everything correctly, you are going to get this pop-up that your linked wallet address is successful. So you can see all I did here was pretty easy. But for some of you, it might require face authentication. All you simply have to do is do the face authentication. And it's as easy as that. Now, if I should go back to this my screen, you can see it is still telling me to link wallet address. This does not mean that your address is not linked. As long as you get that pop-up notification that your address has been linked successfully, you just have to chill. Once you've done this, it is linked. The reason why they still leave this option open is maybe in case you later change your mind and you want to connect another address. So that is why they still leave this place open for you. 
because I get questions. People still come to ask that they've linked and then the button is not showing anything. And also, this your linking of wallet address does not mean they will send your tokens directly to you or immediately. It is not time for distribution yet. This is just the linking of wallet address. This is just to show that you've mined your tokens and you are ready for withdrawal. Any day they decide to distribute, you are going to get your tokens. And this also is not a listing. They are not listed here. They are not listed on any exchange. So currently, this coin has no value. Now, to get this type of tutorials, you should belong to a community. Check the link in the description box of this video or the pinned comment. You are going to see a link to my WhatsApp or Telegram channel here. So you can join and always stay connected. If this video was helpful, do not forget to like so that it can get to more people. Drop a comment if you still have any issues in the comment section. I'll be there to respond to you. Then make sure you are subscribed to this channel and your bell icon is turned on for notifications.